Today I'm going to teach you how to remove the background from your photos in Canva. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Here we are in the Canva homepage and before starting with this tutorial I would like to let you guys know that the remove background feature is available only for Canva Pro users. This is the paid version of Canva. If you have a Canva free account and would like to test or would like to try out this feature I left an affiliate link in the description of this video so you can enjoy 45 days of Canva Pro for free. This is a free trial so you can try and test all all the pro features in Canva. Okay, let's start. You can select any of the Canva documents that we have here. So for this example, I'm going for a presentation doc type. Here we are in the Canva editor and we can actually remove the background from any of our own photos or photos in the Canva library. For this specific example, I'm going to remove the background from two of my photos. So I have them ready here on the upload section. So I have these two pictures. Let me bring them to the empty page. And now let's remove the background of these two photos. So let's click on top of your photo. And then on this white toolbar, you will see the button edit image. Let's click on top of it. And here we'll see the background remover feature. Click on top of it. Let's wait a couple of seconds until Canva do its magic. What Canva is doing at this moment is identifying the background and the subject in this picture. And it's going to automatically remove the background of the photo. So for for this photo, I think Canva did already a fantastic job, so we don't have to do any adjustments to the picture. So let's click on apply and now let's do the same example with this photo because I think for this one we will have to do some minor details or some minor adjustments with another feature that is inside the background remover. So let's go and apply the background remover feature. To this photo and in this case i don't know if it's very visible but here below the phone there is an empty space a little gap i think it was a very bright part of the picture and the artificial intelligence removed it so i want to bring it back here there is a piece of the table that is also gone i'm going to bring it back and i'm going to remove this piece of the table that is below it's kind of like sticking out so here we have a couple of brushes that is going to help us out in these kind of situations i think this specific photo was very bright and it was difficult for the program or the platform to identify what exactly to remove and what not to remove so let's go and click on restore and here we have access to this brush we can adjust the size of the brush and and then go over the part of the image that we want to restore. Let me bring back this piece of the table and then I think I will need to do a little restoration on top of the legs of this tripod. And finally, we are going to erase a section below the table that is sticking out and we don't need in this photo. Okay, I think I'm ready. When you are done restoring and erasing the parts of the picture that you don't need, let's go and click on done. This is very important. If not, your changes are not going to be saved into the picture. And then finally click on apply. After you click on apply, just wait a couple of seconds until the image is fully uploaded again into Canva and then you can adjust and play around with your picture. Okay, I think we are ready here. Let me crop the parts of the photo that are already gone and I'm going to change the color of the background so you can see that our pictures actually don't have any background right now. So this is how it looks. Let me know guys what do you think about this feature. Let me just show you a little bit closer so you can see the detail between the hair. I think this is 
a very fantastic feature and I use it all the time. If you pay attention and you go to our YouTube channel, we use these cutout images in all our thumbnails. So this is a very, very valuable feature. And I think this is going to help you create very creative designs. So if you are new to Canva, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I actually created this tutorial because not so long ago, I gave a webinar and I saw a couple of people that were already using Canva Pro and didn't know about the background remover. So I really hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you found this interesting and you found this information valuable you can share this video with your friends with your colleagues and I'm going to leave you guys here the Canva Pro free trial in case that you are interested in trying Canva Pro and if you want to keep learning about Canva I'm going to recommend you guys two tutorials right here that I think are going to be very helpful I think this is it for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial bye